What's up, War Room Nation? This is Jimmy of War Room Sports at JW the Blueprint on Twitter. And I want to start this video off by saying I am a huge Ray Lewis fan. In fact, inside the War Room, we call call him Uncle Ray, you know, because we look at him as one of our uncles. He's been playing that damn long. But anyway, I had a couple arguments this week, and I wanted to, you know, bring it to the channel and see what the viewers thought. The first thing is this. Is Ray Lewis the greatest linebacker of all time? Here's my opinion. Hell no. I mean, when you think about linebackers that I've seen play in my time, I haven't seen Dick Buckus play or Jack Lambert. That was before my time. But I did see Lawrence Taylor play. And in my opinion, he is the greatest defensive player in the history of football, let alone linebacker. This guy revolutionized the game. He changed the way the defenses are played. He changed the way that offenses are played. He's the first guy to have a running back or a tight end chip block him. I mean, I actually watched a game where the other team went out of shotgun the entire game because they were just afraid of him and his ability to pass rush. This guy, you know, despite what you may think about him personally, was an animal. And I think he's the greatest defensive player ever. Um, so where does Ray Lewis rank, in my opinion? Possibly top five the top ten defensive players. I don't think he was better than Reggie White's defensive player. But going back to linebacker, he's not better than LT. And I hate to say that because LT wrecked havoc on my team. And he plays for the Giants, and I hate the Giants. But in my opinion, he's the best linebacker of all time. It's not even close. And then when you think about Ray Lewis and his career, he's had a great career. But let me give you a couple names. Tony Saragusa, Sam Adams, Elodie Nada. And who are these guys? The defensive tackles that played in front of him and allowed him to do his thing, do what he does. So take that into account. Um, middle linebacker is an overrated position, in my opinion. And I know that's a whole nother argument. But it is what it is. I still think Ray is one of the best defensive players ever. I respect his game. I mean, I've, I've watched videos of him giving speeches and calling upon thunder. But that leads me to my other question. Ray, you got to cut it out, bro. Crying? During a national anthem? Seriously? I mean, I could see if it was Beyonce lip singing. <laughs> no, but seriously, you're crying during a national anthem? Is it that serious? And I understand there are a lot of religious guys in football. But this whole thing, yo, I'm just getting tired of it, man. And I'm a fan of yours, but you got to cut it out. You got to chill, bro. Stop. Please stop. Question is this. Who's the better linebacker, LT or Ray Lewis? And are you getting tired of Ray Lewis and this whole shtick, this whole, you know, no weapon formed against us shall prosper? I mean, comment, subscribe, give me your opinion. Let me know what you think about Ray Lewis. I mean, are you getting tired of him and this whole shtick, him, him crying and acting a fool before and after the games? But the biggest question, is he the greatest linebacker of all time? And where does he rank in terms of him, LT? Who's one? Who's two? Because if you don't think LT is a good linebacker, if you don't have him in your top five, then go kill yourself. I mean, that's it. Comment, subscribe, War Room Sports. Google us. Kuwait is the war room with five nights at the round table. Five Philly guys diversified and educated.